Hello there, folks. DJ Bergstar here, back with another tip of the day. So today I want to talk about Cthulhu. And Cthulhu is a third-party plugin, and this is the first time I've sort of recommended a third-party plugin. However, this one is just so cool that uh, I thought I would uh, tell you guys about it in case you were interested in getting it. Um, so what this does is, let's launch it here, show you how it looks. Um, it does chords and arpeggiator um, settings. Um, and we're gonna just be concentrating on the chords for now. And what's really cool about this is if you're not a pianist, but you want some complicated, interesting chords, um, Cthulhu is your place to go. Um, Cause just playing with one finger, you can pick out a really cool chord patterns, uh, super easy. And what you do is, is really just experiment around with it for a while until you find a sort of a chord pattern you like just with one finger and it will come up with some really cool results for you. Let me show you how this works. So it has its own little sound um, if I hit play here. But oh, that's really bad. So what you want to do is start doing some routing and that's where it gets a little complicated. Well, not really, but let me show you how to do it. So um, you put Cthulhu on your first MIDI track and then you put an instrument that you want to have. I've got this on an organ sound um, here on track two. And here's how you route it. You say MIDI from Cthulhu. Instead of post effects, you put that on Cthulhu as well. And then you also have to hit the record button down here so it can kind of hear what the incoming note, uh, notes are. So now when I hit a chord here, or I'm just hitting one note really, and it just played that chord. Um, so let's launch Cthulhu and see what it's doing. So I'm just hitting one note here. And you might ask, well, where is it getting these uh, chords from? Well, over here is where you pick your preset. So right now I chose this uh, Deep House chords and I'm on C major. So you can pick a different key uh, that you want to be in or a different style of music and it'll have different chords that it picks out in certain styles of music um, for you. And online, you can find free uh, presets for Cthulhu uh, and they also have ones you can pay for. Um, but I've chosen here the Steve House chords on a C major and that's where I'm getting these chords from or where it's getting their chords from. So um, what we're gonna do is we'll play a little song um, uh, or we'll make one up on the fly just with one finger. Um, now what it, what's really cool about this is you don't need just one playing at a time. I know right now I've got this set to this organ, but I have another track here, another MIDI track where I put another instrument and I put an arpeggiator on here. So. I'm also gonna route this to Cthulhu, and then I put an arpeggiator on it. Let's see how that sounds. And you also have to record. Okay, so I'll hit that same note. Okay, great. And then what it also does is, is if you put a bass on there or something that's not polyphonic but can only play one note at a time, it tries to hit the root note of whatever chord Cthulhu is playing. So it won't pick like a high note up here or something. It'll try and pick the root note of this chord. Um, and so in that way, you can throw on a bass as well. So I've got this bass line on here, or not a line yet, but just a bass sound. And I'm gonna put that to record as well. And now when we play Cthulhu, it'll play all of these at one time and kind of sound like the whole band is playing. So let's play this. So, like I said, you would pick around uh, first and kind of find the notes you might want to play, but let's just come up with something on the fly, um, and I have my click track going here, and we'll record, and what we're going to do is just record on the Cthulhu track, and that way we can make like first a, a verse, and then a chorus, and then, a, you know, other patterns 
um, that we might want to use in this song that we can refer to um, later. Um, so let's just uh, get one pattern going here and we'll give this a go. All right, so I'm going to hit record and we're just going to play one note at a time and sort of come up with a almost a part of a song. Here we are. Actually, I didn't like that. See, so you can just cut that out. Let's try it again. All right. Let's keep going. Let's just keep guessing here. Nice. Okay, so I just picked out a few notes with one finger and let's close this up and see how it plays here. Let's look at what it did. Here it is. See, these are just the notes that I picked out just with one finger, and since they're all routed to Cthulhu, here's what we came up with. Oh, let me see what's going on with this bass here. Guess I gotta route that bass, huh? There we go. And you can do that after the fact, which is cool. I could keep adding more instruments. on this bay or a kick drum here so if you're looking for something to help you get some really interesting chords and you're not a pianist um, Cthulhu is your place <laughs> Sounds nice. And like I said, you can come back now and do something different. Um, maybe this time you want to um, pick around some more and play. Let's uh, open up Cthulhu again and see where we are here. I kind of like that one. Let's try this. All right, let's go. Here we go. Okay, so that's our sort of second outro or whatnot. Um, let's play the whole thing here. So basically just by routing this to multiple instruments you can come up with a pretty cool track. Pick whatever sounds you want. If you're into a little harder style, maybe. I'll switch this to the next thing we did here before this ends. There's no way I'd be able to pick these chords out myself, really. I'm not a pianist. 
so there you go that's cthulhu um it's pretty cool um you can find it online and you can find presets online for it as well and you just route all your instruments to cthulhu and you can also when you're sort of done um you can hit record on each uh, instrument and record what it did uh let's uh play uh, let's see here. Let's play this one and actually record it, um, and you'll see what it does. So if I hit record now on any of these, it will record the actual full chord pattern instead of just these notes, because right now it's sort of doing it virtually. But if you want to move these things around later in your uh, arrangement window or something, you're going to need to record these. So when I hit record now... See here? It's recording the actual chords themselves. Great, and if we did it to the um, arpeggiator, then look at let's see what that looks like. Oh, it's uh, not showing us the arpeggiator because the arpeggiator is doing it. So it's the same thing. It's just recording those chords, which is okay. But now we have the chords here that we can, uh, you know, edit or move around. Or um, when we're in the uh, arrangement window, we can do stuff with it there. So um, Cthulhu is just a really cool plugin that... Um, uh, you know, with working with all these presets, you can really get different feels. Uh, some of these are, you know, they're all in different keys and styles of music, and it'll give you a different feel. Uh, let's change it to something else entirely, like a, a, let's see here. We'll go to a future bass, and we'll do a, well, we'll do an F minor here, and you'll see the chords are totally different now. You know, it gives you a whole different feel there. So anyway, um, maybe I'll do another uh, video on the arpeggiator because it's pretty advanced and it can do a lot of stuff here too. It has its own set of presets as well um, and it can do all kinds of cool things with arpeggiating. Uh, so um, Cthulhu is just a really cool plugin to have. So anyway, that's all I wanted to tell you about today uh, was this Cthulhu plugin that uh, I recommend. So anyway... Thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys on the next one. DJ Bergstar out.